Hey, hey, good morning, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this Friday morning. It's June 21st. Yes, supposedly, first day of summer, longest day of the year. June is just flying by. Uh, I got to say a quick shout out. Thank you, all of you that took advantage of our week long Father's Day uh, sale. Uh, happy belated Father's Day to all our dads out there. Uh, I know I had a great weekend uh, last weekend in the city with my girls, and uh, boy, we had a great time. And yeah, I've been off the airways here for uh, a couple weeks, but you know, I'm back. 6 a.m., hitting it hard. Yeah, I'm on the coffee. I'm on the coffee hard today, okay? Uh, I got a bunch to cover. Uh, first and foremost, I got to throw a shout out to Carl Driel, sent me this ultra cool, check this out, Mario Andretti. Uh, t-shirt and he also sent me this very cool uh, little booklet from the museum uh, Mario Andretti icon uh, just unbelievable I've been flipping through this for days Carl thank you so much and uh, you know my t-shirt collection is uh, yeah it's improving it's improving I'm gonna say it every week send me a large I'll send you a replicas t-shirt uh, size of your choice it's my reciprocal t-shirt program uh, Montreal, let's quickly cover Montreal. We had three unbelievably gorgeous days of weather. The race, it was awesome, but yeah, they stripped Vettel of the win. I'm not a fan of that stuff. I didn't really see all this stuff they're talking about, and it was dangerous, and whatever. You know, that's not my job. My job is keeping you guys informed on what's going on in the model world, but it is what it is, okay? But uh, another shout out, my good friend, uh, Steve Ataya. Uh, had an unbelievable uh, dinner with him, his parents. Uh, shout out to all of you up there. But uh, he exposed us to true Lebanese food, and we had a feast, okay? And, Steve, I want to thank you right from the bottom of my heart, first and foremost. We had a great time. we got to do it again before next June. But, uh, you know, just uh, met up with some other, a uh, few other uh, customers, friends at the track. It was great. And it's always good to get out and, uh, you know, see you guys uh, other than Friday mornings on Mark's blog video. <laughs> okay. Uh, replicars. Let's go replicars. Uh, the question I get at least 20 times a week, what are the next releases in the replicars line? So I got to start covering that. I got to stay on top of this stuff. Okay. Our third and final Van Wall version, 57 Monza winner, Sterling Moss. Uh, that is imminent. They're going to be shipping that, he tells me, within a week, along with the Cheetah. Okay, this is our first Cheetah. There is going to be others. We're going to have a round of announcements here shortly. we got big, big news coming. 89 Fittipaldi Indy winner. That one is close. We're probably talking sometime in the month of July. Beyond that, Brian uh, informs me we got two huge licensing deals in the works. Uh, hopefully next week I'll be able to give you information on both of those. I'm going to give a couple of teasers here. Uh, one is going to enable us to make some great Can-Am cars, okay? And the other is going to allow us to make some incredible uh, Grand Prix cars, Indy cars. Uh, I'm going to leave you guys to, to start guessing, okay? <laughs> but next week I should have some concrete information. Uh, these are going to be... Uh, you know these are these are big deals, and it's gonna it's gonna add a ton of models to our our future release program. Uh, we're not gonna go crazy, okay? We're we're still uh, very intent on keeping the number of releases to a certain number over a course of a year. We're not we're not going uh, AWOL on you, but uh, look for that information next week. It's gonna be it's gonna it's good stuff for us, but it's really good stuff for you guys because we're gonna bring a lot of this uh, these models to market that have never been done. Uh, stay tuned. Okay, uh, eBay. I want to throw a huge thank you out to all our regular customers that are, are scooping up the deals on eBay. Uh, might be sale items, but our, you know, homepage at replicars.com, right in the upper middle of the page, click on the eBay icon. Go to our eBay store. Down the left, categories. Rare and hard to find if you're, if you're, uh, into the, you know, the long sold out, can't buy it anymore anywhere else but on eBay, okay? This is where you want to start. And, you know, I always say, you know, for, for any of you that are kind of late to the game, 
and you missed out on that 1999 Le Mans winner, whatever it might be, okay? This is where you want to start your uh, your cruise, as I call it, through the Replicars eBay store. Right now, 43rd scale, guys. Old mini champs, 90s and 2000s, uh, Formula One. There's Quartzo, Ixo, Kyosho, um, 18th scale, guys. And I don't care what your price point is. Lower end, we've got Barago, Maisto, Ertl, Upper Echelon, CMC, GMP, Carousel One. Uh, just great older releases that have been long sold out 10 15 some 20 years well worth your time cruise those listings and you know my motto bid to win and get in on the action okay that's end of story okay and yes we buy collections nothing is off the table no collection is too big too small get in touch with us if you have questions at all myself mark m a r k at replicars.com brian b r i a n at replicars.com. You can call us 802 747 7151. Uh, we have a very easy Word document that we can email to you, explains the entire process. How do I ship my models to you? How do I get paid? I want store credit. We can't make it any easier, guys. Get in touch with us. We'll get you all the details. And yes, we have a trade in program. You have older models, you want to trade in for some of the newer releases. Like I said, nothing's off the table. Brian is wheeling and dealing. Okay, get in touch with him. We'll hook you up. Uh, okay. New. New this week. I got a, I grabbed a bunch of these to rifle through. Okay, first and foremost, for those of you guys that wait every year, yes, the Mini Champs 2019 Master Catalog. I don't know how many pages. It's got to be a couple hundred. It weighs about four pounds, so it's going to be costly to ship. I'm going to throw that out there, okay? And I, I say it all the time. The catalogs are almost as collectible as some of the models, okay? It's just a, it's a great reference point. All of the future releases, a lot of the older releases are shown in there as well. Uh, a great one to pick up. That one is in new this week. So homepage of replicars.com, upper left, look for new arrivals. Sorted by scale. We have a miscellaneous category, obviously, for uh, catalogs, things like that. Uh, cruise that. Uh, ASAP. A couple of uh, these are reissues, okay? And if you do uh, Formula One World Champions, 2005 Fernando Alonso, great one. He's out. He's, he's a sports car racer now. And one that we have been out of forever, but very popular, 2009. Uh, Jensen Button Braun. These are both in the World Champion uh, packaging. Those are going to be in new 143rd this week. Also, three different variations. These are uh, 1976 Formula Atlantic. Okay, they're all Gilles Villeneuve uh, versions. I believe one is uh, Mont Tremblant winner, Trey Rivers, and the Atlantic Motorsport Park. How do I remember all this stuff? Uh, those are all in new 143rd this week. Also, if you do Senna or World Champions, 1990 McLaren uh, World Champion Ayrton Senna. It's in the new box. We haven't had this one for a long time. This is going to be also in new 118th. Even though these are restocks, we like to put them uh, at the forefront. Okay, and here's one for you guys that, uh, that like the streetcars, you know, American Muscle. This is the Steve McQueen Bullet uh, Mustang. Green light. Guys, die cast metal, opening features, detailed engine, 69 bucks. Seriously, you can't go wrong. And, and this is also going to be in new 118th this week. And yeah, we've been waiting a long time. Okay. BBR is back. Okay. And you know, they've been talking about it for a long time. We're going back to metal and we're going to do opening features. We're going to have engine detail. Well, this is the F12 TDF, and I'll tell you what, this just bring, brings back fond memories of, you know, when they did the Enzo, and they did all the, you know, the great Ferrari streetcars in metal, opening, engine detail. I mean, this is in new 118th this week. We've only got about six left after filling the pre-orders. Just an absolutely beautiful car, and it's great to see them back on the, you know, back on what we all want, metal opening features, okay? Some, sometimes it's doable, sometimes it's not, but, uh, and not to say they're, they're not, you know, doing away with their resin line. They're still going to do the seal body resin series, but there are going to be special cars that are done in metal opening features, and I'll tell you what, I got to give this one a magnifico, okay? 
check that out. New 118th. If you're a Ferrari guy, that's a that's a no-brainer. All right, where are we? Get back to live action here. Okay, coming soon. We I'm strongly leaning towards we're gonna get our big. It's a Spark Look Smart Techno model, all in one shipment. I think it's going to be here today. If we get it in time, we'll load the website up. They'll all be in uh, the new arrivals category. But right now, you can go to Coming Soon, upper left, replicars.com. Look for the Coming Soon category. Go in there. All of these models, I think there's two pages. So we're probably close to 40 or 50 models that are on the way. There's a, 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 a big shipment of mini champs that is imminent. That I don't think until next week. But uh, cruise that category. It's becoming more and more popular uh, for our customers to, to cruise that category, but get the orders in, guys. This is how you, you don't even have to wait until they're in stock. We process those orders as soon as we put the inventory in. Uh, just a, a, an easy way to, you know, take the stress out of the collecting hobby. That's all. <laughs> okay. Also, announcements this week. Uh, which is also right up there, upper left, homepage at replicars.com. 12 scale guys. Spark is starting to do Le Mans winners in 112th. The first one is going to be the 2017, uh, it's the Porsche 919 hybrid. That's in there. Uh, also, uh, BBR, the new SF90 Stradale. That's in there. There's a 275 short nose by BBR. Uh, some great models in there that are, are, you know, we just put the orders in, we got the order sheets, we just uh, created them, they're all up there for pre-order, and it's also a great way to just kind of stay in touch with what the various manufacturers uh, are announcing as future releases. So check that out, announcements. Uh, sale categories, way upper left at homepage at replicars.com. We've got super sale and summer sale, okay? We, we got two weeks left, to thin this out, and I'm I'm going in there today again. I'm going to keep marking this stuff down until it leaves us because we've got another new round of sale models that are going up July 4th weekend. Okay, but we got to thin the herd, as I call it. Get in on those sale categories. Some great deals. Some of these are up to 80% off the original MSRP price. Well worth your time to cruise through there and just you know scoop up some of the bargains, as I say. Okay, uh, okay, one I failed to mention on the new this week. We did put it in new. I had it a couple of weeks ago. The Bauer uh, 118th, this is the Bugatti Esders Coupe. Okay, and if you do high end 118th, you're probably familiar with the Bauer name. They didn't do a lot of models, they have announced that they're done. They're doing no more models. Okay, so this is really the last of the Bauer and this Esders Coupe is a phenomenal model. They gave us a great deal on it. We're passing the savings on to our customers. $399, okay, and the original price was $649, I think. So substantial discount, but just incredible model. Shout out to Faz Bakir, our good customer, longtime supporter of Replicars. I was just in there, uh, you know, looking around the web orders that came in from last night, and he scooped one up. We're down to two pieces, okay, two left. If you want a little history or a little, uh, you know, a piece of the 118th uh, history, as I call it, they're not producing anymore. They're not coming out with any new models. This would be a great one to have down the road. Hit it up. It's going to be in new 118th this week. Uh, shout out to Mike Bogle, longtime supporter. Shoot, shot me an email. He says, Mark, you know, keep those videos coming. I look forward to Fridays. So thank you, Mike. Thanks all you guys for the support, you know, and I say it all the time. As long as I keep feeling the love, okay, I'm going to keep doing the videos. But that leads me into our new segment. Let me get ready here, okay. The Replicas Wall of Shame. <laughs> I'm having too much fun, okay. The Wall of Shame, okay. And I talked to Brian about this. You know, we're not going to use names, okay? We we might, we probably should, okay? Just to expose <laughs> this is this has to be one of the. I don't even know what to call it, okay? We have a customer. He buys a model. He gets it. He calls Mary and says, uh, "You shipped me the wrong model." 
but I don't want the right model. I just want to send it back for credit, okay? Well, it just happens to be that we've been sold out of this model that he's returning to us for over a year. It also just happens to be a model that he tried to trade Brian several times, okay, for the model that he bought. Okay, is this all starting to make sense now? Yeah, okay. Then we call him out on it, okay, there's no way, we, we physically proved there's no way we shipped that model to him. So he's basically trying to return a model that he didn't buy from us, but he wants credit. He doesn't want the, the correct model, okay? <laughs> but does he, does he, you know, fess up and say, okay, I was trying to toast you guys? No, no, he gives us some, you know, excuse. So let's just say, I'm not even going to mention his name. I was going to give a first name, but you know, if you're watching this video, you know who you are, okay? Guys, we, we've been in this 30 years. Do you think we're idiots? Okay. <laughs> I just, and listen, this is the best part. We're talking about a model that was $65, okay? So if you have to stoop so low to try to burn us on a $65 model because you don't want to sell it on eBay or whatever, okay? That's all good, but, you know, you can you can sit and, you know, meander in your own misery. And, uh, you know, these are the guys that they they really taint it for all you great guys out there that support us and you know love us day in day out i gotta call out the wall of shamers that's all there is to it now let's move on to wall of shame candidate number two uh this is what i came back to after uh you know my my uh trip to montreal he accused me of every time we ship him a pre-order model something he ordered with us we raise the price and we charge him more than we should and I don't even know what to say to that, okay, because, uh, again, we've been in business 30 years. We pride ourselves on customer service. I got on the phone. I talked to this customer for probably 10 minutes, okay, tried to explain to him that, you know, and listen, I'll be the first to say, if we're talking about a model and we were in this situation that was announced three years ago, and in that time, the manufacturer made a couple of uh, changes to the retail price, okay, and yes, we honor the original pre-order price, but maybe somewhere along the way, yeah, we might have charged somebody five bucks more than it was originally announced at, but hey, shoot me an email, call me, we would credit you on the spot, no questions asked, and this particular customer, I did credit him, okay? But he threatened me that he's gonna go, he's very active on some of the online forums, and he was gonna expose replicars for this uh, unethical practice. So all I'm asking is, all you guys out there in Mark's Army, yeah, that's what I'm calling you guys. It's Mark's Army. If you see these posts on some of the forums, okay, I wish I had time. I really do to be active on the forums. I just don't. I got my hands full day-to-day -day operations. I go home at night. I do email, okay? I just don't have the time. But I'm hoping that you guys that do have the time and are active on the forums just, you know, stand up for us and say, hey, these are reputable guys trying to make an honest living. That's all. And, you know, in this, he also mentioned a model, uh, I, I would say a competitor, okay, that told him he shouldn't be doing business with us. Well, of course they're going to say that. They want your business, <laughs> okay? And I got to throw a shout out, you know, some of the names, uh, you know, our, our friends, they would be considered competitors, okay? But let's go. Kevin at Mint Models. Paul Zimmerman, Motorsport Collector. Uh, Derek up at Toronto Motorsports. These are all guys that we have very good relationships with. We help each other out. These guys support our indie line, okay? So I, I get it that everybody's got their own customers. And if you don't want to do business with replicars, that's fine. But support the guys that are, you know, true, you know, in the hobby. You know, don't, you know, I get this all the time. Oh, I want to buy from Joe in Hong Kong. I want this spark model that he's selling for blah, 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 okay? Well, what's going to happen if you have a problem with Joe from Hong Kong, okay? <laughs> just support the true dealer network, okay? And I got to, all those guys I just mentioned, thank you so much for your business, support. And, you know, like I said, we're, we're all in this together. We help each other out. So it's not like we're, you know, cutting each other's throats and all that, okay? Support the guys that are supporting you. I'm going to leave it at that, okay? And you know what? You don't want to get on the replicas wall of shame. That's all there is to it. Because you just heard it. You can't, this is it. You can't make this stuff up. All right, listen. 
I'm way over my allotted time. See what happens when I go away for a couple weeks? Uh, subscribe to our channel, like this video, hit us up, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, of course, Mark's blog, right on the homepage of replicars.com. You can see a link right there to go to my blog. You can stay up to date with the world of diecast models. You can stay up to date with the world of replicars and even some of Mark's world, okay? Guys, thanks again for all the support. Uh, we truly appreciate it. I hope everybody has a great weekend, and I'll catch you next week.